first contestant tonight is... Hi everyone, I'm Kayla Mackay and I'm 19 years old from Levin and I'm super excited to be on the radio. <laughs> um, I, horse riding is a big part of my life. I ride racehorses and jumping horses and I also compete at a national level around New Zealand and currently hold a New Zealand title. I, oh, sorry. Oh, no, no, don't be sorry. <laughs> I, was, I was just going to say, you are Miss Country Educare Children's Centre as well. Yes, yeah, I'm proudly sponsored by Country Educare Children's Centre in Levin, who is owned and operated by my mum and dad. So, oh, nice. Yes, yeah, so close to home. It's all very exciting. Who we can like to <laughs> shout out to, because we're huge in Levin. Levin, we are just, we pump through there. We are the most <laughs> exciting thing to happen to Levin. 92.2, more effort, but over too. So go, give us some Levin shout outs. Who, who do you think will be listening? Hopefully my mum and dad. Hopefully, that'll be <laughs> and good. And hopefully some of the staff members at Country to Care Children's Centre. You guys are awesome. All right. I love you. All right. Buckethead, are you ready for your bucket? We're going to do the Buckethead of questions. We've got our bucket uh, ready, uh, the bucket here. This is a uh, bucket head uh, full of pieces of paper. The pieces of paper have questions on them, and we are getting the girls ready in practice for Friday night uh, week, of course, at uh, the region, because if they are in top five, they're going to get that question, which is very nerve-wracking. Oh, you should see the look at her face. <laughs> oh, I'm, passing, I'm passing you. I'm pass- Kayla, I'm passing you the, uh, the bucket head. Thank that you. Hopefully on your head. All right, all right. Don't look. Now you have to get a question out. Get a question. Don't be peeking at that question thinking, Kayla, don't be peeking at that question. That was naughty. Jeez. Kayla had a sneak peek of the question. I saw something that said favourite. Uh, that's right. You're about to get the whole lot. Here we go. It's the More FM bucket head of questions. All right, Kayla, here is your question. What is your favourite piece of technology and why? What is your favourite piece of technology and why, Kayla? Um, I'm actually useless with technology, so I'd have to say my phone that only does phone calls and text messages. Oh, really? <laughs> Those budget ones, it does nothing but that. No, I, I've just actually just upgraded, but I still only use it for calling and messaging <laughs> <laughs> and Facebook. So, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, nice one. Thank you very much. It's- Miss the Shoe Clinic. Hey guys, I'm Lavana Hampson. I'm 23 and working at Shoe Clinic. Um, Shoe Clinic's also sponsoring me, which I'm proud of. So I'd like to shout out to Chris and Nige Hart. Um, awesome bosses and sponsors. Um, I'm playing for Massey Netball Team, so I enjoy my sports and exercise around Palmy. Shout out to the whole Manawatu and Wairarapa, my hometown. Um, yeah. Oh, the dirty old Wider Upper. The, that's the <laughs> I worked at Wider. I worked oh, over no. a master there for a year. Uh, they, they are actually good old fun over over on the we Tron. There. Fun, what part are. exactly were you from? Masterton. Oh, you were from the Tron. Oh, it's yeah. My hometown. Okay. Oh, yeah. really? I've been, I've been not bagged Masterton too <laughs> no. much. No. Uh, Lavana, are you a little bit nervous about the question that you're going to get in the bucket head tonight? I was and then I wasn't, but now I am that you asked me again. <laughs> uh, all right, we're going to do it as we are with all the girls. This is putting them through their paces for that moment. If they're in the top five, if they're lucky enough to be in the top five, they get that dreaded question. They get that dreaded question with all the eyes focused on them and, and the pressure of it all. So we are, we are getting them to practice with this. It's the More FM bucket head of questions. Sure, it's the bucket head of questions. Here's the bucket Here's the bucket head. Here's the bucket head. Uh, Lamana, right, OK, I'm going to pass it to you. You need to put it on your head, place it nice and gently <laughs> on your head. And you know the deal. Get the question out of the bucket head. Rustle around. Rustle around in there. Beautiful. Don't have a peek like Kayla. Thank you very much. <laughs> Give me a minute, bucket. Awesome. OK, uh, here we go. Your question from the bucket head of questions is this. Last week, 16-year-old Lucas Batterson won a court ruling, a well-known court ruling, saying he didn't need to cut his hair that the school had told him he had to because of their school rules. In your opinion, did he, should he have had to follow the school rules or was the school wrong? Um, in the end, it's a rule, but I wouldn't agree with the rule. I think it's, yeah, I think it's a bit of a silly rule, but in the end, I suppose the school is right. It's set out, so when you go there, you read the rules and you know what the rules are. Even though it's a stupid rule. <laughs> yeah. Good answer. Very yeah. diplomatic. Very diplomatic answer. Thank you very much.